It was only fair, right? I told you I would get justice. That's what I did. Who's there? Excuse me. I'm looking for someone, a uh, patient here. Judy, may I call you Judy? You may call me Miss Towns. Okay. And the patient's name? Well, I don't know the patient's name, but I do know uh, the person responsible for her, Kimberly Andrews. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Rex is here. I can't let him see you. What am I going to do? Okay, Miss Childs, I wouldn't ask you if it wasn't really important, and I know it's strange that I don't know the patient's name, but... It's not strange. It's not? It's suspicious. Look, look, I know you can't tell me anything about the patient, but there's no law that says you can't tell me where I can find the patient's friend, right? I mean, she's got to be around here somewhere. Okay, think. I wish you could wake up and help me. Hey, if this isn't an emergency, I don't know what is. Excuse me, sir. What happened? Why did you press the call button? She looks okay to me. Oh, she's fine. Actually, I need help. That guy out by the desk, he's her ex. He is totally abusive. He is? How do you think she ended up here flat on her butt in the hospital? Are you saying that man out there put her in this condition? In a manner of speaking. Yes, please help us. You have to get rid of him. Whoever you are, you better come out. I know you're there. I heard you. What are you doing here? I came to visit my mom. Oh. So, I guess your dad's funeral was today? Yeah. How was it? Terrible. Yeah, I know what you mean. That's how I felt when it happened to me, when my mom died. It sucked. The burial was the worst part. I kept thinking to myself, my mom's in there. My mom's in the ground. And she shouldn't be. I'm doing my best, Jeej. You told me not to give up. Here I am, not giving up. Of course, if you want to clue me in on exactly what it is I'm not giving up on, that'd be great, too. What I don't understand is, if that guy out there is this patient's ex, why doesn't he know her name? Um, because we're hiding from him. He thinks she's using a fake name. So you just have to tell him you've never heard of us and that we're not here. I make it a policy not to get involved in domestic disputes. Besides, how do I know you're telling me the truth? As far as I know, you and this patient could be criminals on the run. Please, help us. You're a nurse, right? That's your whole job, is to help people. So help me help her. Just don't let them know we're here. What's this? Well, now we're getting some more, Jeej. See if there's a name on this list that means anything to me. I was just, uh... I know what you were doing. You were looking at confidential hospital documents. You do know there are laws about patient privacy, don't you? Look, I'm sorry. I should not have peeked at the list. No, you definitely shouldn't have. Look, I said I was sorry, okay? But it's really, really important that I find this patient, okay? And I wish I could tell you more than that she was a friend of Kimberly Andrews. I wish I could tell you her name. But... I've tracked her this far, and I, and I would tell you why I was looking for her. It doesn't matter why. Yes, it does. Even if it sounds totally crazy. But isn't it always crazy when you follow your heart? Here's hoping Nurse Judy decides to come through for us. All right, sir, I'll give you the information you're looking for. My mom's grave's right over there. Kind of funny, huh? My mom, your dad, right next to each other. Yeah, hilarious. So I guess they still haven't arrested anybody for killing your dad? Actually, 
They have. Yeah? Who? Todd Manning. Really? I thought they couldn't find the gun, because that's what Blanca oh, Morales said. They don't need the murder weapon anymore. Why not? They have an eyewitness. Me. You've been a You really saw Todd Manning or whoever kill your dad? I saw Todd Manning hit me. Then he took my keys, let himself into the house. That's when I heard the gun go off. That's when he shot my dad. Really? Yeah, really. That's why they sent cops to arrest him. I gotta go. Yeah, okay. The patient you've been inquiring about has been discharged. Discharged when? This morning. That's all I can tell you. Doesn't make any sense. Okay. Can you, can you please tell me the patient's name? I can't give you any more information. She's gone. Now, I need you to leave before I call security. Oh, oh, oh that won't be necessary. Thank you for your help. Thank you so much. Sorry, look, I just forgot my... Kim! What are you doing here? Hmm? What am I doing here? What are you doing here? Clint told me that you had a sick friend here, so I'm checking it out for him. He also said that he offered to have a transfer to Landview, but you turned him down. And this is any of your business how? He's my father. But you guys can't stand each other. Okay, look. I know this sounds crazy, okay? But you remember how I told you I've been seeing Gigi, her ghost or whatever? Well, she told me not to give up. Her ghost did. Look, I don't know what it was, but then Delphina, the psychic I told you who led me down to the Spotted Pony, she said that she got some sign from the spirit world that I was to talk to my father, so I did that too. You did? Look, don't look at me like that, okay? I know how crazy this is, but I, I feel like somehow maybe these things are connected. The person that you know in the hospital here and whatever Gigi wants me to not give up on. I'm sorry, Rex, but that's impossible. Okay, look, Kim, I know that we've never been friends. I'm begging you. If this has anything to do with Gigi at all, please tell me. My friend here in the hospital has nothing to do with Gigi or Clint. Her name is Annie Edwards, and she's a dancer at the Spotted Pony, too. In fact, she was working the night you showed up there. What's wrong with her? She has this ex-boyfriend, used her as a punching bag. She doesn't have anyone else, so I've been taking care of her. Anyway, she's all better, and she was released this morning. Really? Mm-hmm. It's funny, because uh, Clint said that when he offered to have her transferred to Landview Hospital, you turned him down because you said she was too sick to be moved. Now you're saying that she's well enough to go home. That seems kind of miraculous, doesn't it? Some sketchy stuff goes down at the pony. My friend had some issues with the cops, if you know what I'm saying. Why don't you spell it out? Look, if she got on a plane or... Whatever. The security check could alert the cops, so I told Clint she was too sick to travel. Look, I hated lying, but I was just trying to protect Annie. You're a saint. Yeah, I am. So how'd you pay the hospital bills? Hmm? Clint said that was an issue. Well, it isn't anymore, because their family came up and, and they took care of all of it. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> it's incredible. Yeah. So if Annie was discharged this morning, what are you still doing here? <clears throat> she left some stuff here, so um, I told her I'd pick it up for her. You know what? I better go grab it before they throw it out. Right. I'm sorry, Rex. I hope you find what you're looking for. Yeah, well, I won't give up that much, I know. <sighs> Rex is gone. Thank God. But that was a close one, Stacy. There's no way I could let him see your face. We both know why. I want justice for what happened to you, Mom. I want the people who are actually responsible to pay! Jack thinks he got justice for his dad by telling the cops that Todd Manning killed him. But there's one problem. Jack's lying. Jack! Where were you? You missed a whole gathering for Victor. I was with Dad. 
At the cemetery? Yeah. Where's the food? I'm starving. Uh, we, I already put it away. Come on, I'll, I'll get you some food on the No, home. we should hang out here. We should celebrate. Celebrate what? Thanks to me, Scarface is behind bars. <laughs>